Hello, welcome back to Many Docs. My name is Vex, back at it again with episode 7 of the PHU Web Dashboard series. Oh my god, it's nearly been a month since I uploaded the last video to Many Docs, and that is a long time in my opinion, so let's get stuck in. So I'm going to close this terminal because I forgot to prepare everything before I started this, and let's just straight in by opening up our terminal and I'm just going to do code dot so it opens up in this uh, what's the word project workspace whatever you want to call it and why is this all open I can close all of those we don't need them and let's get started so we're going to start off by going to templates and we're going to create uh, a new what's the word file <laughs> and I'm going to put colors.html in there all right Next step, we need to copy our base.html and we need to put it in to colors.html. Now you might be wondering, why don't we just extend it like we did with all the other files? Well, yeah, okay, Mr. Smart Guy, <laughs> it won't work in this case. Uh, there's something that goes wrong with the CSS and it just doesn't like to join everything together. I've tried to look for solutions and all sorts of stuff, but we can just use inline styling and just put it all in the one file so we need to change a couple of things in here now that we've copied and pasted we need to go to line six it should be for you guys as well and we need to remove the tag that we put in there to pass through a title of the web page just remove that and put colors and down on line 26 i think it is we need to go here and we need to put colors here instead because i'm going to remove this login part i don't like having colors there and we're going to do it in base.html as well so we go to where it says login and just put colors. All right, we've done all that. Uh, we're done with base HTML now. So now we can go to the next part. So we're gonna create four div elements. Well, I'm gonna create four. You can always create more if you want to. And they're gonna be our colors. And I'm just gonna start off by just typing div forward space, or forward space, sorry, full stop. Dot red and it's going to create uh, a div element with the class of red. It's a cool mnet feature if you've never done it before. Um, you're, most likely your text editor is going to have it, but if it doesn't, look around in the plugin sections for mnet if your text editor doesn't have it and it's got a plugin feature. So in here, I'm just going to put a comment of red, um, comment, sorry, a h3, and I'm going to use some inline styling. So we can get the inline styling by just typing style. And in here, we can put in background dash color. You could just do red, but I did find this very nice red color, which is FF O O two F. <laughs> so I just had to look at my notes for that one. So uh, I can't remember all of these hex color codes off by heart. So again, we're going to do the same thing underneath. It's pretty much going to look like the top, but except the class is going to be called blue, different color, and uh, you know a different text of the H three. So we can do div dot blue. Side of here, we can do H3 tab again. Mnet is such an amazing feature. We can just put in blue and we can use our arrow keys and type it over here and put in style. And the hex color code is uh, I'll tell you in a second <laughs> it is hash 007VFF. And it's a nice blue color. And then we can do our green color again. You can change these to whatever you want. I'm just using these for this tutorial purposes. Put in green and at the top here, do our inline styling and background. We can put, I should for consistency put background dash color. And this one is going to be 00FF95. And underneath it, we can do our last one, which is going to be uh, magenta color, div.magenta, h3, oh, it's the head tag, h3, magenta. And in here, we can put style. Background dash color. This is that's correct. Oh, I've forgotten something. Oh, it's double. It's double O, double zero. Sorry. And there we go. That should be a nice color. So for the last part of this, we're going to be using some styling or CSS. Sorry. And in here, I'm just going to go to type of text forge slash CSS. And in here, we're gonna call all of the classes. So we can do dot red, comma, dot blue, and so on. So it's gonna say, hey, for all these classes, give it this. So we can do this by going dot red, dot blue, dot green. And this is our last class, the magenta class, dot magenta. 
and we can put our curly braces and in here I'm going to give it a width and height of 250 pixels. You can make it a, a column rectangle if you want to, I'm just going to make it a square because I reckon squares just look best when I was designing this at this time. And we're going to give the text a, a lighter grayish black color so it's a bit more easy to read because I found just the pure black color is a bit hard to read with uh, these colors on the back and I typed that wrong. I don't think I meant to have one there. There we go, now it's showing up. Uh, I'm also going to do display, so basically what this is going to do, it's, whoops, caps lock on, display uh, inline dash flex, and this is going to say just put these all on the same line and resize them accordingly so they fit onto the one line, and if not, if it can't fit on the one line, it will just put it underneath really close. It's a bit of, that's, I think this was introduced in CSS3, the flex styling, um, correct me if I'm wrong. And now we need to bring our text across from the left and down a little bit. I was going to put it in the center, but I didn't like the look of it being directly in the center. So I'm just going to pull it from the left, from the top left a bit. So I had a stroke while I was saying that. And in here we can just do 12.5px. So that's pretty much all done. We could open up uh, Colors of HTML now and have a quick look at what it looks like. So we'll see. Now green color isn't working. Put a hashtag here and a semicolon there. If you made those mistakes, just quickly fix them up. So now if we go to Google Chrome, I've already got it open. You can see what it looks like. Uh, we got our colors and it's pulled down from the top and pushed across to the left a little bit, just like I wanted. So now let's create uh, the blueprint. So we can go into our routers file and we can create a new file called routers. Oh, sorry, not routers. Uh, Colors.py. Confuse myself. And from Flask, we can just import a couple of things. So yeah, from Flask, import blueprint render underscore template session and redirect we can now create our colors route so we can go colors underscore route and we can initialize a new instance of blueprint create a new class and in here we can put in colors and then we need to pass the second parameter as underscore underscore name underscore underscore and now we can use that df directory. so at colors route underscore route dot route and i'm just going to give it the index route in here we can then do um methods which is an array so we can just say only the get method for this please and then we can put our callback underneath here so we can just do a sync color colors underscore uri and we don't need a pass and i think now that we've done that we can do if session uh sorry we can't use that we need to use the dot get vex oops oh i've done that wrong i've got that wrong way around user not equal to vex we can just go new line and inside of here we can go return redirect and you can just redirect them to forward slash or forward slash. Underneath that, if that is all true, and they can access this, we can go in here, render underscore template, and we can just say colors.html or whatever you called it. And the last step is just to register this blueprint. So to do that from previous episodes, we would just do from routers, uh, and then we call the file name, which was colors, import colors underscore route. And then we just register it here, app.registerBlueprint, uh, oops, not, not the height route, not the colors route, URL underscore prefix, and then we can just put forward slash colors. So let's test this, we can go here, I've already got it open, so I can just refresh, and it probably helps if I start it first. So in here we can just type hyphen 3, hyphen main.py, whatever it is for you, and now we can just refresh and Redirect is not defined. Need to import redirect. Oops. Should work now. There we go. Uh, put in that. I don't know. Oh, can't put in that. It's my personal email. Uh, it's at menudocs.org. That's my fake email that I made up for this series. And then I can put in my password. See, we're all logged in. We can go to colors. And it's there. So that's all. 
for this video. I know there wasn't much with the back end, it was more focused on the front end and getting this page done, because in the next episode we're going to be linking it to the back end, which should be pretty fun, it's going to be pretty easy. Um, I would like to see you guys try and link it to the back end before watching next episode, which will be coming out from a week from now, but if you are a channel member of Many Docs, you do get to see this stuff a week early. Anyway, so that's it for today's episode. Uh, if you learned anything about CSS, like the Flex or Mnet, leave a like. Uh, leave a comment if you enjoyed it, or just leave some feedback in the comments, because I do read them. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you next week in episode 8.